Animal Farm is a political allegory written by George Orwell and published in 1945. The novel tells the story of a group of farm animals who overthrow their human owner and establish a system of government based on equality and justice. However, over time, the pigs, who have taken on leadership roles, become corrupted by power and gradually establish a dictatorship, exploiting and oppressing the other animals. The novel is a critique of the Soviet Union and the betrayal of socialist ideals. Appointment in Samara is a novel written by John O'Hara and published in 1934. The novel follows the life of Julian English, a wealthy socialite in the fictional town of Gibbsville, Pennsylvania. Julian's self-destructive behavior and alcoholism lead him to make a series of impulsive decisions that ultimately result in his downfall. The novel's influence on the public is notable, as it is regarded as a classic of modern American literature and a powerful critique of the empty, materialistic values of the upper class. Are you their god? It's Me, Margaret is a coming-of-age novel written by Judy Bloom and published in 1970. The novel tells the story of Margaret Simon, a sixth-grade girl who moves from New York City to New Jersey and struggles with issues of religion, puberty, and fitting in with her peers. The novel's influence on the public is significant, as it is widely regarded as a classic of young adult literature and has been praised for its frank and honest portrayal of adolescent experiences. It has been translated into many languages and adapted into various forms of media. At Swim Two Birds is a novel written by Flan O'Brien and published in 1939. The novel is a complex and surreal work that challenges traditional narrative conventions and tells the story of a university student who writes a novel about a writer who is writing a novel about characters who rebel against their creator. The novel's influence on the public is significant, as it is regarded as a masterpiece of modernist literature and has been praised for its innovation and experimentation with form and language. It has influenced many writers and artists, including James Joyce and Samuel Beckett. Atonement is a novel written by Ian McEwan and published in 2001. The novel tells the story of a young girl named Bryony Tallis, who witnesses a crime she does not fully understand and later falsely accuses someone of committing it, leading to tragic consequences for all involved. The novel's influence on the public is significant, as it has been praised for its intricate narrative structure, exploration of guilt and redemption, and portrayal of the impact of war on individuals and society. It has won multiple awards and been adapted into a successful film. Beloved is a novel written by Toni Morrison and published in 1987. The novel is a powerful and haunting work of fiction that explores the lasting impact of slavery on the lives of African Americans in the United States. The story is set in Ohio in the years after the Civil War and follows the life of a former slave named Seath, who is haunted by the ghost of her daughter, whom she killed in order to spare her from a life of slavery. The novel's influence on the public is significant, as it has won numerous awards and is widely regarded as a masterpiece of American literature. It has been praised for its lyrical language, its exploration of themes related to race, gender, and trauma, and its portrayal of the complex and often painful legacy of slavery in America. Blood Meridian, or The Evening Redness in the West is a novel written by Cormac McCarthy and published in 1985. The novel is set in the mid-19th century and follows a teenage runaway referred to as the Kid as he joins a group of mercenaries hunting Native Americans along the Texas-Mexico border. The group is led by the enigmatic and brutal Judge Holden, and the novel is a violent and bleak portrayal of the American West. The novel's influence on the public is significant, as it is widely regarded as a masterpiece of American literature and a challenging but rewarding read. It has been praised for its vivid and poetic language, its exploration of themes related to violence, power, and the nature of humanity, and its powerful and unforgettable characters. Bride's Head Revisited is a novel written by Evelyn Waugh and first published in 1945. The novel tells the story of Charles Ryder, a young man from a middle-class background who becomes enamored with the aristocratic Flight family, particularly Sebastian Flight. The novel explores themes of love, class, religion, and the decline of the British aristocracy in the 20th century. The novel has had a significant influence on the public, particularly in its portrayal of the complex relationships between individuals of different social classes and in its exploration of themes related to religion and spirituality. It has been adapted into numerous stage productions, a television series, and a feature film. Call It Sleep is a novel written by Henry Roth and first published in 1934. The novel tells the story of David Sturl, a young Jewish boy growing up in the impoverished tenements of New York City in the early 20th century. The novel explores themes of identity, family, poverty, and cultural assimilation. The novel has had a significant influence on the public, particularly in its portrayal of the immigrant experience and the challenges faced by individuals seeking to assimilate into American culture. 
It is considered a classic of Jewish American literature and has been widely taught in schools and universities. Catch-22 is a satirical novel written by Joseph Heller and published in 1961. The novel is set during World War II and follows the experiences of Captain John Yasserian, a U.S. Army Air Force's B-25 bombardier stationed on the Mediterranean island of Pianosa. Yasserian and his fellow airmen struggle with the absurdities and injustices of military bureaucracy, including the Catch-22 paradox that makes it impossible to avoid flying dangerous missions. The novel has had a significant influence on public consciousness, particularly in its portrayal of the insanity of war and the absurdities of bureaucratic systems. The phrase Catch-22 has entered the English lexicon as a reference to an illogical or paradoxical situation.